Hello my friends, Natasha with Natasha Scrabble Corner and today I'm coming to you with the finished project. This is a mini uh, uh, junk journal or mini album, whichever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, I created it using uh, my new digital papers uh, that is uh, Shabby Chic Christmas and uh, you can purchase it at NSK at Natasha Scrabble Corner on Zibit or on Etsy. Uh, so um, it has papers, it has ephemera, it has uh, printed words, uh, um, it has um, a lot of um, place cards and tags and um, um, inches and you know lots lots of yummy stuff and it's um watercolor i'm lately into watercolor stuff so here it is um after this i will plug in the process video whatever i took the pictures or recorded the process so you will be able to see what i was doing uh so and uh, I'm gonna be just uh, simply um, showing you the finished result and uh, talking over a couple of things here and there. So, uh, of course, I'm using uh, most of NSK products in here. Uh, so, for a book uh, binding, I chose one of the widest cotton laces. Um, that's this one. I absolutely love it. Uh, this one comes, um, you know, this um, in this pattern, so you can cut out uh, this little um, uh, doily if you want to put it um, rectangle ways. But um, anyway, and you can uh, use uh, this sides as a like a banner side, you know, like a banner lace trim. So anyway. Uh, this is very versatile and I love using cotton laces for the backgrounds on canvases because they're already white or cream, whichever the colors come, uh, and you just sew it all in and they catch in the colors absolutely phenomenal. So all this texture is going to show up on your canvas either you're going to do it vertical or horizontal so i absolutely love using cotton laces and i think we have like 12 or 9 uh, different widths and different patterns so check that out uh so i basically uh folded all uh in half on both uh, on both parts and on top here i decided to go with this uh, beautiful uh, ruffle trim that we have also in five or six colors uh, for the trim uh, in here this is one of the latest arrival uh, and I'm using this trim and this is really really cute all uh, NSK designers absolutely love it they all got it um, it's almost like a hook crocheted one uh, it's just uh, such an interesting um, you can display it this way uh, this way this way uh, so yeah anyway uh, on top um, I put the layer of the mesh and we have different colors uh, this is one of my favorite this is kind of like a creamy champagne color so I absolutely love those and in here I tucked in uh, on top of the crocheted uh, lace another lace and this one I do believe it called a uh, banner lace uh, so it's let me see the face I think that's the face so it actually really reminds me like a little banner Chevy chic banner so I love this is uh, Venice lace uh, so yeah and in here I added this little um, um, little dudette flowers uh, in different colors blue white pink and we do have uh, uh, like a little mauve color um, as well so yeah I absolutely love how um, they are um, plasticky and they're cheap and they uh, give enough of dimensions instead of spending money on rhinestones and stuff 
this is gonna, I mean, this works absolutely phenomenal. They just sparkle as much as, as rhinestones. So, um, yeah. So I printed out the digital papers from the collection and I used different ones. And in that collection, some of them, they come distressed, some of them come just clean, some of them uh, uh, come with the shabby chic rosettes. So this is very versatile and it's not just Christmas, really. Uh, so for the uh, belly band, if you see, I use um, a sari ribbon and this little fuzzy um, uh, trim from a personal stash. And uh, on the ends, I tied up a little beads that's been gifted to me in one of the swaps. And of course, I use one of the uh, dazzling uh, real crystal um, um, chandelier pieces from NSK. And I fuzzy cut one of the um, um, embellishments, the ephemeras, and uh, here it is. It's uh, absolutely sparkling. I love how it uh, turned out. And where the glue came out, um, I sprinkled some glitter, so it's all awesomely uh, covered. So um, let's uh, get to it. And for the base, I'm using Manila folder, and there will be a tutorial on how I assemble this album. So here's our beautiful combination of tassels. Absolutely love it. So it's, um, I love a lot of movement. I love a lot of folds and stuff. So this is how it looks on the edge when you open it. It's kind of flaking out a little bit because um, it's narrow here on a book binding so uh, and because it's getting stuffed with this stuff so it's kind of open its mouth and uh, uh, normally you would you know give a little bit of um, width in here at the root of the uh, book so on the first one I left it simple because um, um, I want this uh, paper to stand um, you know, and attention comes to from this um, a little edge and a little bow and tassel, so I didn't want to take it away from this. On the second um, edge, I used this a beautiful trim, and you see how beautiful it looks in here. On the third page, I used one of this ruffle uh, tool trims, and again, another row of the beautiful uh, champagne color mesh. And on the third one, I used a uh, different lace. Uh, that is the scallop edge uh, Venice lace. That's also from NSK, so um, check it out. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, and I put another rhinestone um, chain in here. So, and I think it came out really, really sweet. And uh, actually, my inspiration are um, so many girls that are doing junk journals, and I'm uh, learning um, each time I'm watching them. Uh, big fan and big shout out to. Uh, my um, sisterly uh, group out there, uh, Boho Daydreams, uh, on a Facebook. Um, Shayla is the um, um, the founder of that group. Uh, the girls are absolutely phenomenal. So, Randy, um, Shayla, hi. So, um, so now we are going to be flipping through uh, so a lot of flips and I know there is a lot of things going on in here but uh, you will understand um, uh, actually the paper attachment I did via our live stream uh, it was two hours but we were chit chatting and talking about the tradition so if you um, have like a craft time uh, if you're working on some project and you need just a company to chit chat about something plug in and um, and yeah you will um, you will uh, hear all our chit chat and uh, we were discussing tradition so there is a, so I did like a little scale up uh, punch using uh, Martha Stewart punch um, and this is again the digital papers 
uh, this is the cards and I printed another paper on the back with this beautiful roses and season's greetings this is one of the sayings that you can print out as well so I really really like how this uh, you know journal spot or placemat came out and um, I shrunk uh, these cards and printed them smaller uh, so uh, this is one of the cards and the tags um, so um, the recipient can you know do as uh, they wish for you know to um, to work with it so I'm not you know doing fully so uh, there is this page and here's this beautiful um, what it colored a branch and this beautiful um, Christmas car with a Christmas tree and uh, uh, here's the silent night a star above uh, a blessed gift of hope um, and love so and I decided to use in here um, a burlap um, burlap piece in here uh, kind of to ground it all um, you know down and um, what's not so then it flips open the first page flips open and in here you have um, two mats um, you know two different mats um, and uh, yeah and here is Merry and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and there is um, a spot for um, you know more mats and journaling um, notes and what's not so uh, then uh, this is if you would believe it it's already the middle of the journal uh, so and it flips out both ways um, on this side um, this is this ruffle trim with a chain and in here not chain uh, not rhinestone chain although we have rhinestone chains too um, this is the mesh uh, and this time I decided to choose uh, two rows uh, because I want uh, the ability to tuck something in here as well you know if if um, the recipient willing to do so um, so and I chose let it snow uh, saying so and on this side you see one of the uh, circles is like a tab and this envelope comes with the collection and you can you know make it in the envelope and I put a little um, little journaling spot in there like a little gifty so kind of cute little um, envelope and in here I printed out for her um, um, actually on sticky tape uh, one of the uh, ephemera I think it you're gonna get like 22 images for printout um, and I um, printed out on adhesive and made it in a sticker a magic season so um, she will be able to you know to do whatever she wants with this and then uh, let's see um, it opens up this way and in here um, I chose the word joy and there is another um, you know punched out border and another uh, mat and in here there is another tag and this is a sticker so she can adhere it whatever she, she wants to and uh, here's this journal spot com comes out and here's the ephemera bow so um, she can tuck it in here and there so it kind of came out really really cute um, I'm lately into girly things I don't know shabby <laughs> So, and then it opens up on another side, of course. Um, I love complex <laughs> things. Um, on this one, I, um, I fuzzy cut the, um, one of the reefs, 
but I didn't take out the center um, and on the bottom I added another two rows of the mesh in here um, and these are actually stickers so the placemat like a little uh, watercolor blurb and um, beautiful um, roses so yeah and the middle one it's quite simple uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas saying uh, a little music note it's also a sticky one and this one is just a little um, little note card whatever um, and on this side it kind of all looks really cute doesn't it it's kind of come out really cute I'm not really big fan of doing journals and what's not but this came out really really cute um, so in here you see a bunch of tucked in ephemera here's another Christmas tree uh, let's not cut the trees right <laughs> and it kind of tucks in between this um, um, linen thing um, or burlap linen it's it's linen actually um, and um, the bow holds and a little pocket and in here one of the um, tags or placemats and then another tag in like more vintage style and a little bow I don't know she can you know cut it or she can put um, cut out um, uh, there is in one of the papers there are the ornaments you know Christmas ornaments so she can cut out one ornament and you know do a 3d decoration with it um, and decorate the Christmas tree that's gonna be like fun project to do decorate the Christmas tree right we already we're already in June oh uh, yeah uh, Christmas is like around the corner um, anyway so on this side here's the last flip and here's this beautiful lace and I really love uh, this is like accidental I didn't I mean it just all came together like this you see the the scallop um, the scallop punch and the scallop trim and it looks oh super professional <laughs> love that um, so and uh, here's another uh, mesh trim and um, if you uh, will watch the video uh, the width of the mesh uh, is smaller but um, I made it um, uh, a lasting and looking like a whole um, trim and you if you will watch the process video you will be able to see how I do it so there is a little uh, trick in there uh, there's another Merry Christmas sticker that she can place uh, wherever she wants to another mat of uh, this beautiful car in a frame another um, I love this paper I don't know I just love this paper it came out so adorable um, and another shabby chic Merry Christmas uh, and this has the stickers so uh, she can cut out or fuzzy cut even deeper and um, you know use it as a sticker so yeah and what I love about digital papers and I created it in PNG um, PNG format so anybody who does you know the Cricuts uh, got all this uh, fancy machines uh, PNG PNG uh, files you can cut on your machine so which is make it even more awesome so and in here um, here's the word Noel I kept it simple and in here I literally fuzzy cut this wreath um, and created it in like a pocket and I put another bow in here and I put um, few um, sequins um, sparkling um, tell me trims from the shop so she can further decorate uh, because uh, sequins is like really sparkly and stuff and uh, yeah so yeah awesome and on the back it looks really clean and simple in here so I absolutely love um, how it all uh, came out 
so um, yeah um, please uh, check out uh, stay tuned for the process video and uh, there will be a full project uh, that I'm working for um, a swap one-on-one -on -one swap uh, at NSK and friends we have monthly swaps so please um, join um, if you're a crafter you can share your um, you know creations in, in our group uh, we play games so we just you know just having fun so um, yeah and random sales also yeah that's another great thing <laughs> to be a member of this group so yeah so anyway um, thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the pictures and I'll catch you later